What's up, everybody? Good morning. I'm trying to trying to get everything situated here with the screen. We got a late start. What's up, Joey? Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Trying to see what we got going on here. What's up, Joey? Hello, Greece. What's up, Greece? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We got an equipment maintenance day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Jason? Cheers. Doing good, Joey. Thank you. I might miss some of the stream. Oh, boy. Not good, Joey. You could hire somebody. The 1030 stream starts at 1030. That is a good question. We'll agree with that, but we're getting set up. We're trying to uh, do a couple things this morning. Welcome, everybody. we got to uh, change a tire. Got to grease the bearings. This one bearing's a little loose. We got to tighten it up over here on the passenger side. We got another tire to put on. This one started wearing out on the edge. So we're going to show you guys how to change a tire without having a tire changing machine. We're going to work on uh, greasing the axle and tightening it up a little bit. And uh, then we got to work on the truck. The other truck's got the power steering leak on the 04. And we also. Uh, we got to do the uh, lower radiator hose on that truck. And uh, what else we got to do? We got to sharpen our blades on the mower. We got a whole whole schedule of things to do. And then uh, we got to grease the new mower. We got that new mower, that used new mower on Thursday night. So we'll be rocking and rolling. Sorry. I got to step in the house for a second. I'll be back in a couple seconds. So we got going on. The 1030 Joey starts at 1030. The Ohio PA border. There was a pack, scout pack from Tonawanda. Yeah, Tonawanda is not too far away. Tonawanda, you passed it going up to Niagara Falls, Tonawanda. And uh, the, uh, I can't think about it, but uh, one of Craig's friends, Craig's friend, his name is uh, the Beer Patrol, the Beer Patrol guy. He's from Tonawanda, too. So I haven't, I haven't seen him in person, though, so I never met him, but. But yeah, Tonawana is not too far from here. Like I said, you passed it along the way. <laughs> I gotta get some gloves before I get started. I gotta get uh hey, you gotta do one. Gloves, I gotta get gloves, uh, I gotta get the right here. We got more gloves, I got they might have grease up on them, but the grease stuff should be dry because we've been on the feet for uh yeah, got these foot thing. I got that too. We got Anthony's foot. I'll fix it. We're done. We got Anthony's foot too. We got to get a screwdriver. It's got some grease on. We got to find some rags. I got Anthony's foot. Jackets. Everything. That was the territory. We need some monkey butt. You can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. You got one thing. You got two things. We got to get Multiple. a hammer. We got to knock out. Knock that off. Knock that seal off. Tighten up some incisors. I think that is. So we got here. Running. I got to get up. You guys got any mechanic seats by your house? This is what they look like. Yep, they're the best. Yeah, they're pretty cheap too. They got them everywhere. Um, yeah, better than the ones at Harbor Freight. He's the way to go. I haven't used one as a driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Gloves. No milk crate. I got the old ones too, the metal one. You can use that as a jack stand too. Yep. Yep. We're rocking and a rolling. Lawns aren't growing too much, so. Oh, no, they're just 
We can do 30 a day. Yeah, but we'll get them. We'll get them done. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching. Joey was closer to me than I thought. That's cool. But to make it any bigger, oh, I don't want to take it out of the stream, and it don't want to go any bigger. No biggie, biggie, biggie. I got your 36. I got to get your, uh, what is it, tough one? Yeah. I got to get a needle nose. Okay. So just got a, a nicer called a buddy hub, a hub buddy. You can take it out. You can actually grease the actual itself instead of manually taking it apart and packing it by hand. So that's called a bearing buddy. If you guys got a bearing buddy on your trailer, I get the, uh, Get the needle hole pliers out of the house. I know we got. I got the needle holes right here. That's probably. We'll probably be able to do it right here anyway. Tighten it loosely. I'll turn around so you guys can see what we got going on here. No music today. Can't play music. We'll get in trouble. No, we're not Amish either, but we could be. Yep. Thank you, everybody who's watching in the background. Welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking us out. We'll be back hunting grass tomorrow. Maybe we'll get three days of this week. Hopefully get them done in two. We got them done last week in two. So, get you a small camera. Got it. Yeah. So all we're just doing is we're just tightening up this hub. It's a little bit loose. We're just gonna tighten up a little bit so it's a little bit more than hand tight. It's got bearing buddies. They're called bearing buddies. You want uh, you want to put a strip on top of that to tighten up a little more? You snug. You just might get it snug.
Call the bearing body, those are nice. It's like a lot easier instead of taking everything apart and repacking it. Because uh, you can see, but it was a little loose. And with it being loose, it ain't my tire on the outside edge because it was leaning. So it was a sign of neglect on my part. Let me back so you can see a little better. It ate the tire a little bit, and eventually. I was to get stopped at like a, a checkpoint by the DOT. You'd be taken out of service and get a ticket for that bad tire. We don't want that. Not at all. That wouldn't make it fun. It'd be raining on our parade. What's up, Sandra? Good morning. Thank you for stopping by. We're working on a trailer. Your back is rain. Wow. Bicycle. Heavy bags. Yeah, we can fix it. We can almost fix anything sometimes. Sometimes we get lucky, Sandra, but hopefully you get home. She says hi to Mario. Yep, I got Mario. What's up? It's Sandra saying hi. What's up, Sandra? Yeah, we got it. We got to fix things because you'll go broke. What's up, Mark? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, $120, $130 an hour in labor. Yeah, so. We're going to break this tire down. We'll show you guys how to do a tire change without a tire machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got all kinds of ways of cheating. I'm trying to save money. I got to get my little tool out. Uh, leave the air out. We got to find our crowbars. Break the tire down. Here's one of our little cheating crowbars. We got to find some more. I got to get the, the things in the thing. Might as well crease the other side. Let's drop it. Put that together. Not anything. I'll look at the other side. Take the If you run out, I got more grease in the house, so. Got a cotter pin, but I still got to find my. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much for the super chat. What do we got here? Thank you, Sandra. But we got our cotter pin right here. Take the place. No one. This doesn't fit through. This is what happens. 
Sandra, thank you a million. Thank you so much. Good on your show, us. Thank you. What's up, you hobba? Thank you, Sandra. Thank you a million. What's up, Mark? Good morning. No, nah, not necessarily, guys. Anybody could fix anything, Sandra. You just gotta watch a YouTube video. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we could fix anything. The only thing we're trying to do next is we're trying to figure out how to get brains. We gotta do a brain implant on each other. So we get new brains that way we won't forget things anymore. Not have to write them down again. I'm trying to figure out where my stun tool was to take the stem off the tire. I don't know if you guys, if you guys got one of these at home, but it's a tool drawer next to my kitchen sink. There it is. I put all tools in there that I might need in a pinch, so this is where most of the stuff is hiding out the small things. We got a new spark plug here for the trimmer. I'm going to put that on. I got some markers, utility knife. Allen keys, scissors. I'm trying to find that little key that takes out the uh, stem on the tire. I know where there's one I could use a cheap one to cheat, which I'll do, but got a little with a torch, cutting torch, another head for it, a little paddle bit. We got all kinds of stuff in this little tool drawer. A little screwdriver, put your glasses, and you gotta put your glasses. But I don't know where that little tool is, so I'm gonna go cheat and get a, I got a nice little uh, steel one. An actual tool for taking a tire apart, but I'm gonna cheat. We got all kinds of stuff, we got plugs. 
Electrical tape, if you guys need electrical tape, it's a little low. Some Teflon tape, if you're putting any gas pipe fittings together. I got everything but what I'm looking for. We'll find it. Scraper, if you guys scrape your inspection sticker off on your car. Pencil. Pencil sharpener, this doubles, this doubles as an eyeliner sharpener. For the ladies, yeah. you sharpen your eyeliner. With that. Don't ask me how I know, but sometimes on Thursday night when it's ladies' night, we got to put eyeliner on. So. Let me look through it, but we got magnet in there if you guys need a magnet. All kinds of stuff. Phone charger, adapter. Key, which I have no idea the key is to. Hmm. Not having no luck, so I'm gonna have to go and uh get my little uh cheating tool out and see what we got. See anybody's on the chat. Welcome, welcome, thanks for checking me out. We got Mario over there hiding out somewhere. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Amelia. What's up, Eve? Eve's here today. Hi, Eve. How are you? Got to catch up on the chat. What's up, Eve? Sandra says hi. Hey, what's up, Paul's Lawn Care? How are you? We're doing some trailer maintenance today, greasing the hubs. And I had to tighten up one of the hubs because it was a little loose. It ate up my tire, so I'm putting a new tire on. Well, used tire. Thank you. Great to be here. Yep, you Holly got a white t-shirt. Good morning, Eve. Mario had a nice weekend. I don't know what he did. Yeah, he doesn't know what he did either, so probably not. Thank you, Eve. Sure, Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I gotta go get that little that little tool. Let's take the stem out. I know exactly where that one is, but I'm gonna try to look professional. Thank you so much for that. So anybody in chat, if you've never used this before, this works really good. It's called slime. Put it in your tire. It stops slow leaks. I wouldn't put it in a car tire, though. I wouldn't recommend it for a car tire at all. Get it fixed the right way if you've got a car tire or a truck tire. If you can't fix it yourself, pay somebody to fix it because you might take a chance of getting a blowout. But like on my lawnmowers or my four-wheeler, it works great. So this got the little cheater tool built into it right here. When you buy it, this is like $20, but it works really good. You know, I would say use it on something like non-highway use, I would use it in. I even put it in my trailer tire because if my trailer tire, I took a poop. I took a poop. There's a little stem in there you take out with that little tool. It just screws on. And it takes off. But I would put it on a trailer tire because if you blow a trailer tire, you're not going to really crash. So as for my vehicle, I would pass on that using it. But we're going to do that. I got to get another bar. I've got to get the other bar out. Let's let the air bleed out of here. We'll show you guys how we cheat getting it done. We're doing great. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. So we got all the air out of that. I got to get one more bar. There's a bar iron over here. Let's see what we get. Actually, got a bar in the corner. I get. Thank you. 
10 million cans in here. I gotta take them back to the can place. There's another little tool we'll use. It works good for everything. I got a bigger one too. That'll help me not get a tire changed. You gotta break that down. Right there. You get that. You tighten it? Do you tighten anything? Yeah, I tighten it up. We are in business. Is that uh, clean fit? The uh, cotter pin? This is a cotter pin. Make sure you put a 15 inch tire on a 15 inch tire. Sometimes you put the 14 inch tire and they won't fit, or you put a 16 inch tire on the rim and it's the wrong size. We done it. So you got to check it out. You guys don't know what size tire you got on the side of your tires. It'll say right here, if you guys can see, it says P215 slash 70 by R15. So the two, 215 means how wide it is side to side. The 70 means how tall it is. The lower the number, like 50, 60, the, the shorter the side is. And the R means it's a radio tire, radio. Because back in the day, they used to make bias tires. And then 15... It tells you the rim size is a 15. It doesn't mean you plug your headphones in the tire. It's you not a radio. It's not a radio. You can do that if you want. You don't know till you try. What's up, you haul? Let me see what you got here. Sandra says, LOL. Eve, looking for my icon. Is there weed whackers a plug in? Oh, man. We don't like them kind, man. Yeah, that's Push them on the cord. Time. The cord gets too short, yep, and yep. you're stuck. Yep, yep. You can only trim so much there. You'll be reaching. Mm -hmm. There's a spot that's for two feet away. Yeah. Not good. But if that's all you got and it works, God bless you. That's yep, what you got to yep. do. That decision one. You yep. just hold on. Finish. You grease that guy up on that garbage Yeah. You gotta use this tire after B. You can bring them in. Yeah, I'll get them. I get them all set over there. Um, we'll just use this right over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll get that jack out. Oh, don't forget to use a jack stand. Put your stuff on a jack stand. You want to do safety? Safety first. So we're gonna cheat. We'll show you guys how to break a tire down. You all probably knows how to do this because he probably did it on the semi a couple times. Or if he's smart, he calls road service. I could do it for you. Yep. 350. Mm -hmm. Not only two 350. Oh. Okay, so let me see if I can get a setup before we get too far in. I'm going to go grab this guy. So let's go. I got it. I got it. For a second, you can work on it then? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to show you how to cheat right here. He's going to take the jack. You can see he's going to use the end of the bobcat. This is going to kind of be like a tire machine that breaks it down. I guess it's a small piece of wood. Okay, so we can call in a favor, but uh, by the time we got to where we cut grass and did everything else, there's two pieces of wood if we need them. It's just as quick doing it this way. I mean, it's a lot easier than a tire machine, but we'll see what he's got going on if you guys can see. What's up, U-Haul? Hey, Eve. So he's just going to use uh, that piece of wood on there, and he's going to jack up on the rim, and it should break the feed. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, I heard it pop. Yep, just like waffles. Yep, that's how we do it.
Let me get a hammer. Let me get a hammer. I'm not the talkative type, but I'll try to keep you guys going here. We're going to get this guy off. That's how you break the bead on it. You can see the bead is broken. That's it. How you break the bead on it. Flipper. Flipper on the other side. Keep it good there. We'll do the same thing here. We'll pop that bead right out. Now we break the bead. All the tools you need, you probably got them in your own home. Okay. Besides, a little more stubborn. A little stubborn. Gonna get at the end of the day, we won. Yep. At the end of the day, we win. I, I have to get you guys the attitude adjuster. I'll just show you guys. Go see a little, so you wait around and it'll come right off. Got it? You need to hammer them? Nope, nope, we got it. Hey, we're in business. We're gonna break her throw around here. We need to hammer them. We have we're bringing the attitude adjuster, but yep. she called adjusted. A, it's called a woman beater. Yeah, could be. Let's see what we got here. Now you got to use those little bars we bring out. Pinch them. You are not professional. Do not try this at home. Warning. Do not try this at home. Go step on the other side, it makes it easier. Got one. Okay. Two people make us a lot easier. Sure. Push down on the other side where he's trying to get the lip over. It gives you less of tire to get more range on the inside, inside the brim. Too big of a bite, yeah. yeah, too big of a on that one. Sometimes you want to get it done in a couple seconds and try to take your time. Yeah. 
little bites, little bites go a long way. Take a smaller bite right there. You step off the side down there. Progress now. Damn. Nice. Here we go. So much for that side. The other side now. I'm afraid. I'll just take some baby bites. I told my toe, my toe. Go ahead. Stop, stop, stop.
protect for a second. Time out. Yeah. Get it off in a minute. We're breaking a sweat here. We're not looking good. It's not supposed to be that hard. What's up, Uncle John? Hey, Sandra. Steve. What? How's your kitty cat, Uncle John? How's the kitty? Hey, Paul. What's up, you home? Their weed whackers are plugging. They're going to win. What's up, Angie? How are you? I tried looking for you this morning, but I didn't see it. They took the stream down, it looks like, on your end, Angie. So we're going to take a two-minute break. Yep. Yep, we're going to regroup for a second. Take a break. Get a drink. See what we got. So we're changing tires, Angie. We had a tire that got worn out because the bearing loosened up a little bit. Lack of maintenance, the lack of maintenance it was because. So it ain't the outside of our tire edge. So we are uh, breaking the tire down. Too stubborn to take it to the garage, though. You can take it to the garage and run it easily, but every time we got to the garage, it got back and you can do it the same amount of time. So. Gotta get some screw in. Put it up. Get some stuff on there. Put a little, little moisture on it. See if it works. I know my bottle don't want to spray. You gonna give it up? Come on, bottle. My bottle don't want to spray. We can spit on it. That might work. The model took a crap. Lubrication on her. Thank you, 
right? The tire's winning, everybody. The tire's winning. For now. Yeah, I'll get Mario some gloves. We're going to get the sauce all out. And Plan B. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. What's up, Uncle John? Over 18 already. Makes no sense. I'm not sure. I lost the other day. Hey, what's up, McT? Thank you. Ah, uh, sweet. Thank you, Sandra. Have a good day if you're still listening. Uncle John, what's up, Eve, Angie? I don't know, Uncle John, how's that kitten? I don't know if you put it in the chat or not. We're going to get that sawzall. We'll cut that thing all the way up. I got to start where I put them, though. That's $27,000. What truck did I take when I took the fence up? I think I... We had the sawzall. I took the, uh, the truck, though, the newer truck, right? It's not out here. It's in the truck, though. Yeah, we had the new one. Next $10,000 question. Yeah, but I took it to put the fence up, though. Ah. I used it to cut the pipes, so where did I put it is the question. That's Uncle John says. What's up, Shandog? Hey, McT. The kitten is farting. The kitten is fine, okay. Starting to drive me nuts. Welcome to Pet Ownership 101. <laughs> It's got to be in the truck. I didn't take it. We took the truck, and I don't think I unloaded when we came home. Got to get Mario hydrated. Yeah. He might turn into. It's like Popeye. He's got to have his spinach. Mm -hmm. I'll do real good when I go donate plasma today. Yeah. Yep, I'll be out of there in 20 minutes. He'll be on the road. Come on, hydrated. Liquid hydrate. Best American beer. Budweiser. Where I put the saws off. We put some spray on there. We got to regroup. Yeah. I said, I'm 
where I set the straws off. I don't see nothing. I bring the big pipe, the big thing up here, and see that. Let's pick that room up. Let's do it standing up. Bring it pull the other one here up. Get that little sledgehammer and bang it. Really? I got it, yep. Keep going. Might get you a bigger one. Keep going. Don't hit the rim. Side. This is what I'm saying. It's on the other side of it. Just... Just pull it up and we want to go down. Okay. Put some more spray. Take that spray and spray this room. See the spray? It's on the trailer. You just get real tight up here on the top. The sledgehammer is in the corner right over there, but we just dropped it. Take that fire out this one. Take one Take them out. Try to turn it this way. Can I reposition? Today, fire was winning. Exactly. 
Somehow, we're gonna try. What's up, Uncle John? Oh, gonna win. Hey, U-Haul, send your truck guy down to fix this tire. Hey, what's up, Shan Dog? Thank you for stopping. What's up, Christopher? What's up, Tom? We're trying to change the tire. Could have took it to the shop and did it, but being stubborn, it's okay. Me too, Shan Dog. Thank everybody for stopping. We don't got no clutter, Tom. I'm so busy, I ain't got time to go to the bathroom. She keeps cleaning bigger spots. Nice. Nice, nice, okay. nice. Okay. Clean your desk off. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Christopher also. I don't know what I do with my saws. I usually we did a, a fence job the other day. I don't know where I put it now. Hang on, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stay there. Okay. Yeah. If I put that part of this front, it would be We got it. Now we just got to little fight, but we won at the end. Straighten the trim up a little bit in that one spot. We got one junk tire. Do it. One junk Front tire. Glove. I get get the bus grips out. Another bug around. I gotta get that tire sealant too. Do a butt shot. Nice. Happy Monday. Yeah, Blackie does do donut shot. Okay. Two pro. They hosted a marathon yesterday. Nice. Good. I think I might have been there. I might have been there. I got to get that tire right tire sealant. Yeah, it's yeah, Organized clutter, Tom. Organized clutter. That's how you take a tire off. Old Western one. Old Western one. Yeah, you can't, you can't give up because it's how you're going. I got to show you a picture. I found it in one of my old trucks. How you wins the day? Picture of one of my girlfriends from back in the day. I don't know if you could see her or not. Beautiful tire. Yeah. Vanessa Williams. I could tell you guys a story about that one day. I will tell you once we remember. On a live stream, yep. That's my girl too. What's up, Black? Turn on the grass, save tires. Oh, turn on the grass. Yeah, we're doing we're doing a trailer though. We're doing a trailer tire right now. Yeah, like trailer trailer. Yeah, it was us back in the day. If you guys got a little uh, steel brush, <coughs> or a little steel wheel that you can put on the drill. I got both. So I'm using steel wheel, but you guys don't know what a steel brush is. It's a steel wire brush. Right here. I'm gonna go around the, the edge to try to get any rust off the rim. What I'm gonna do with uh, my drill, 
my little uh, little wire brush I got on the wheel right here. It makes it easier. Then I got to get the uh, the bead sealer because I don't want to be putting air in this thing every couple days. So yeah, I'll put the bead sealer on it just in case, just to be safe. I'm gonna get the drill real quick. We got my little electric drill. Yeah, I'm gonna put this little drill on there. Clean it up. Time, but you can see what the rest does up here in New York. I don't use this at all in the winter time. So. She gets York. a little, little rusty. She's not driving in the winter, so she gets those much. That goes over back. Yeah, exactly. I'll get them for you. We'll be back in a second. Out of the year, no road sauce at all. But welcome, Lep. Thanks for joining. We got Lep TV in the house, so we got the bead sealer. If you guys don't know what bead sealer is, it's just like a glue to glue your tire on. Right, car quest. 
it's probably well now it's probably thirty bucks a can or more, but it helps out yeah. for slow leaks. Yeah, damn sure. You don't want to mess around with slow leaks. So we got the lucky leprechaun. Maybe he'll bring us some luck. We're putting a tire on. That's cool. What's up, Angie? Says hi to Lep. Here's some gloves here. Then we're gonna seal her up. We got pretty clean surface here. Ebron, T-Bron. Yep, T-Bron, Ebron, number one. Should I put the white wall out or the white wall in? Put the white wall in. It'll look better. Yeah. It'll look like young hot rodders. It wouldn't even look like we're driving a Cadillac. Cadillac, yeah. Cattle trailer. Big old white. White walls. I'm just a gigolo, and everywhere I go, people know the part I'm playing. We pay for every dance. We sell each romance. What's up, Eve? Hey. What's up, Lep? Lep's stealing all the ladies from me. Yeah. Yep. We got to keep an eye on Lep. He's a pretty smooth leprechauner. Mm hmm because we are the world. And we are the children, too. We are the children. So let's start giving. Yeah, I wanted Angie to play that song last night, but she wouldn't play it. We are the world. But it's okay. It was her stream, so. so she wins. One for Angie. One for Angie. Zero for us. I would play it, but I don't want to get no claims, so. No copyright. But I figure if I'm going to put some time into trying to do a little YouTube, I want to try to get a couple dollars out of it. Or I should say a couple of cents, actually. So we get cents out of it, not dollars. We're not big time. We're little time. Get the bottle on. Them, you know. Yep. Thank God for Mario doing all the hard work. You gotta get yourself a Mario if you don't got a Mario. Cheap. Yep, cheap. He does good work too. Hundred dollars, like Canada. Yeah, good exchange rate. But he doesn't take pesos. Mm -mm. No, no pesos. pesos. He only takes in God we trust. He said. Dinero. Mucho too. Come on, water bottle. Mm -hmm. People know the part I'm playing. Jiggle, jiggle. We're being business. Went on a lot easier than this cut came off, so we're getting lucky there. Yep. We'll be styling and profiling tomorrow. We like, you got a new used tire. Like, Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We got some grease, believe it or not. We greased the bearings too. You guys are going to be in shock. Wait till the trailer goes for a ride. See, it's got grease in the bearings. It's going to be extra happy.
Look at that, people. Go to the nearest Mario store near you. Yep. Ta da. Yep. We got ta da's. There she is. What a Did beauty. What a beauty. Ha ha ha. Here. What's so funny? We'll blow it up in a second. We'll yep. see what we got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grease her up with that. Yep. Some tire bead sealer on there before we go. Angie eyes. Yep. I like that song. It says, Girl, you're looking fine tonight. And every guy has got you in his side. What you're doing with a clown like me? It's your only one life with some mysteries. <laughs> yeah, this is just insurance. Cheap insurance we're putting on there. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. You don't want to play the old put air in the tire every morning. That gets old quickly. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So the question is left. If you're still listening, call Joey and see if he cut his grass. He said he would be back. He had to cut his lawn. So we want to find out if he's pulling our leg. Oh, yeah. Tell me don't play that. Nope. Not at all. You got to get your little stem tool out. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the pressure's on. I just got to plug it in. Plug it in. Yeah, just, I'm just going to stick the holes on here. Just watch it. It pops out. Because right. people know the part we're playing. Hey, forever dance. Go and eat romance. He was going closer to the wall. Easier. So super hard was going. Got more cans everywhere. I got to take back to the store. You have to do everything on them. Put it in go right in there. At one time, go right there. There you go. It's going to leak a little. Yeah, good. Yeah, just spin it a little bit. We'll just turn it and it'll stop. It'll stop leaking. Yeah, we got it. 
got a tire. One tire compared to the old tires. So it was a little bit harder than we thought, but we got it done. This is how it's worn out. Yep, yep. Tire. A little, a little to keep the tires too. Yeah, little guy. I don't know what he saw, but he looks like fun, actually. Hopefully that compressor ain't too loud. We'll see what we got here. We got Mario knocking the building over. That's cool. We got some new comments. What's up, Bobby? Hey, Bobby. Thank you for stopping. No, it's not maintenance Monday. We're just, uh, okay, scoop and change the tire. Well, I greased it up, but they haven't greased it for over a year now. So if you guys are watching, we're going to grease it a little. Everybody. Everybody's got a wing chum tonight. Okay, they got a hard and great bower. This little bower impact happens, guys. Looks good. <laughs> Drive impact. Get your cell phone. Pre recorded either. This is live action. It was not edit. Well, we'll still check it with the T bar. Yeah. You shut this impact. Uh, shut this air compressor off so we can all hear. But get yourself a Harbor Freight. Bauer, yeah, does the job. Double check twice. Naughty. Yeah. Don't so be they naughty. Say, nice. Check it twice. Cut twice, measure once. I have, I have had tires fly, fly off of me while it's I was driving. Good. Boy, that was scary. Just here, I have to change my underwear. I can show you guys that the new little secret weapon for Wednesday. I'll give you guys a sneak peek for Wednesday. Just a little, sneak, little sneak peek. Yeah, just a little one. Can't give everything away. We can't give away all the secrets. Oh, we're serious. We're gonna give me a second. We'll uh, show them that, and then we'll back it up and see what we got going on. What's up, you haul? What's up, Bobby? Oh, where you at, man? Yep, you haul's not here. I'm a truck driver too. Mm -hmm. Used to be a truck driver. Drunk now driver you now. not drunk driver. Okay. <laughs> I called them all. Flatbed driving. Reefer. I love America. Ooh, he's bringing up a secret weapon. Uh oh. For Tuesday, or Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll use it. We'll see how good it was. It might, it might be the best $300. It might be the biggest waste of $300. So, I get it to roll forward. We'll be in business. Supposed to be, secret weapon. Supposed to be aired on Friday. We're doing an yeah, we're doing. Give you guys a sneak peek. It's a nerdy show. Yeah, there she is. That's pretty funny. Back in the day, before I had gotten into commercial equipment, I said I wanted one of these so bad. It used to be like two thousand dollars back in the day, but two thousand dollars in the late nineties was like ten thousand dollars. So let me show you guys this way. So I finally got one. It looks pretty for three hundred bucks. So. Figured I'll give it a shot because I don't want to push that little lawnmower anymore. I'm not, yeah, I'm not buying no more uh, a big, bigger stand on one because they're ten thousand dollars now. So that's the secret weapon you guys will be able to see on Wednesday. Either it's going to work good or it's going to be a piece of junk. So for three hundred bucks, it looks pretty though. So we took a chance. 
Through somebody's windshield, right through the window of their house. That ain't cool. Of course, I didn't stop. I kept going. We didn't know it fell off. I never knew it. I'm sorry. That's all we can say. Sorry. Oops. Oh, we can mark the trailer and stick. Yeah, that's one check mark. Yeah, one check mark done for today, which is great. Show you the snake face. That's all I want to roll. Excuse me, hand them. That's a sneaky peek you guys got the behind the scenes look. That's supposed to be for members only. Yeah. Members only get to see. I'll have to do a video of that actually for the members only real quick. I'll yeah. turn out the on there. The word is out. You guys can see me make a video in a second. The word we'll bring it back. We'll do a video on it. See the video on it. In a minute, because we gotta go get that all set up. What's up, Bobby? Let me brush off this. I got all dust on here now. Let's see what we got going on. What's up, Eve? Bobby? A little bit of this. I'm not sure what you're talking about, you huh? Sometimes you speak like you're from work from Ork. Nanu Nanu. A Boomhauer? Yeah, I don't know what he says either sometimes. Looks cool. What's up, Bobby? Harbor Freight has some good tools. Yeah, some of them are good. Some of them are junk, too. So, just got to do your research. Your Harbor Freight tools keep breaking on you because you yeah. can't use little, no non hardened impacts or non hardened sockets on semi trucks. They break instantly. Yeah, you can't use it on semis, man. Yeah. Get, you won't even get one lug nut off. I'm a good one. Kid across three got a semi. He's got like one inch, one inch tool in the line. In fact, one inch. Pretty, pretty crazy. That's cool. We got to fix this too. I can grab that swing hammer. Oh, yeah. I 
Let's take your glove. This guy? Yeah, buddy, what's up with him? We're good. We take your glove. You break it, you fix it. Mm -hmm. If the glove don't fit, you got it quick. Don't remember. Don't forget. Not too quick. We got to check the oil on the new mower. We got to sharpen the blades on the, the Toro still. I got those to bring out. We'll do them. Actually, I'll show you guys how to do them. Running a couple minutes behind. We'll get them done. We'll show them how to sharpen blades real quick, too. I'll get the grinder out and the blade. I'll get you in a second. Yes, right? Okay, we'll take it. Yeah. 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 I said the word is out. Yep, 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 yep. Wait a second. Oh. Don't try this at home, people. Nope, 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 nope. Not try this at home. We're going to sharpen some blades real quick. We're going to do it kind of, kind of rough, but not kind of perfectly, but... Go over better than what they were. So we got three blades. The Z Master takes three blades. So we'll get a little closer, give you guys a little up close view. Okay. Many years. Take your uh, little vice grips. You can lock them onto the old uh, trailer edge right here to look on the trailer. I'll get a little closer so you guys can see sure see some sparks. A lot of sparks. Mario's going to show us. Here we go. Wish him luck. He never tried this before. Got to plug it into the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got to <laughs> plug it in. He forgot to plug it in. Yeah. Yep, daydreaming. Daydreaming, daydreaming. Okay, here comes the sparks. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Here we go. Let me sit here. You work that, I'll do this. Get it out, get it out. Okay, so all you're just trying to do is you're trying to, uh, you're just trying to get the, I don't know if you can see it on there. Can yeah, you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You're just trying to clean the slip up where it's got like these little grooves in it and make it smooth again. You can feel it if you pull up on it, it'll feel mm -hmm. sharp. Yeah. Kind of like a razor chop. blade almost. Got poor chops. Yeah. Yeah, poor chops if you want. And you got to flip over and do the other side too. <laughs> yeah. There's two sides to it. Because mm -hmm. it'll cut good. Going backwards if you don't. Go too crazy, like I said, you just want to clean it up. So you want to try to keep the blades balanced because there's a little balancer. I don't have a little balancer tool, yeah, it needs to do it. and it just uh, it just makes your bearings last a little bit longer if they're balanced better because you don't want this to be like a half ounce different on this side, or else it really put a lot of stress. Cleaning them up. There's no. You can take it to a professional, like a lawnmower repair shop, to get them done. They do a good job, but I just, uh, I'd recommend just get new blades if you need to get your blade sharpened. I just 
quick and easy slide it across towards the back. Yep. You don't have to do it like a coloring. You just want to want to clean up the edge. And then I mark my blades too when I take them off. It says Z for the Z Master 48 inch deck, and that's the right side, the R. So that means I look at it as by the shoe. That's what I consider our, our side. Just the left one. So I got it. I like putting them back in the same spot. At some point, you got to buy new one. Ladies and this wide, you need to buy a new one. <laughs> Does Mario know what he's doing? No. Not really. They never, never, they never right. learned this in school. It's nope, something nope. you gotta, yep. gotta learn. And if you look at like right here at this corner, it's like really in a lot. You're never gonna get it to be perfect. So you're just gonna have to live with that little spot right there being like that. So Bobby, I am a professional. Yeah. Know what I'm doing. Only on YouTube is a professional. Yep, yep. Honestly, we never cut a grass a day in our life. Mm -hmm. Our first year was a lawnmower. And the way you can tell, the way you can tell if your lawnmower blades need sharpening, if your kitchen butter knife is sharper than your blades. You need sharpening. You, you could tell on the grass, too. Yeah, when it rips it out, so it cuts it. You look at mm -hmm. it, it'll look or the, torn. Or the fertilizer guy yeah, says, leave, you a note, yeah. leave a note. Sharpen your blade. Make sure you know the flames are shooting in a direction, not at the camera guy, neither. Yeah. It could be pretty pretty bad. So make sure the camera guy's got safety glasses on, too. Which I do. Yeah, I, I just got no t-shirt on. Yeah, that's what you want to wear a t-shirt. Clean them up. And it's just a little ways to cheat. Make sure you wear a t-shirt. You can probably get, you can feel the edge on it when you cut. Oh, yeah. With your thumb, you can feel as you pull up on it. Don't draw blood, neither. It feels like a, like a razor for shaving. Mm-hmm. If you're bleeding and you don't know why, yeah. stop, stop the project. Call 911. Yep. Seek medical attention. Immediately. If, yep, if something goes wrong, <laughs> that's for sure. What's yeah. up, Connie? Uh, weightlifting today? No, nope. Connie, we got to go get uh, some hay in a couple minutes. We got a 1230 appointment to go. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be working for some on hay. Tomorrow. We could do, we'll do Richard Simmons tomorrow, though. Or we could come back if we get done quick enough over yeah, there. We might get into it today. Yep, you never know. Shirtless, too. Oh, topless? Yeah. That'd be cool. I think topless is the way to go. Yep, you never know. You, you never, never know. We do it when we're sharpening blades. Yep, sometimes. Sometimes they have too much fun to get out of control. Sure. You want the it's settings. Shooting at us. Yep, that's pretty good, though, because you bring the kids over, and they like uh Switch this camera on. They like the sparks. It's like a 
a sparkler on the Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then when they look at your chest, yeah, like, Grandpa, what's all those like that? Mm hmm. Then I got to get in the shower and take a shower, and that's no fun then too. Try right. here. Yeah. You smell that? Put this tripod away and see what we got going on. Planking? Yeah, I know how to do a plank, Bobby. Yep. Yep, just like a push-up. Yep, we like planking. Because I got to do, I got one of our friends, he uh, he did a beer review with me last year at the fair. We're going to the fair again this year to meet if to do a beer review at the beer gardens. They'll do like a IPA, Indiana Pale Ale. So we'll get one of those and we'll do a beer review on it. Last year it was terrible. It tasted like a a tube that you put in your bicycle tire. That's what it tasted like to me. Uh, but we got a challenge. He's going to try to do uh, 20 pull-ups because the Army comes, the U.S. Army. They got like a thing set up at the fair. And uh, if you could do 20 pull-ups, you get a shirt. If you could do 10 pull-ups, you get a, a water bottle. It says Army on it. So he's going for 20, and I'm going to try to do five. But he's uh, pretty good in the bodybuilding, so he's pretty strong. And those are pretty hard to do. Yep, sometimes you got to cheat, Bobby, and pick your butt up high, and then it ain't that hard. So, but that's where we I'm stand. Trying to, trying to start up this yeah, day. yeah, that's true. Something I can start working on. Everybody in the background, thank you for watching. Anybody that might be on Facebook still, thank you for still watching on Facebook. We had a lot of fun. Well, maybe we didn't have a lot of fun at first when we were getting that tire off. It wasn't fun, but. Well, pull ups. Yeah, you want to see Mario's doing pull ups? Hold on, I'll switch the camera around. He's cheating a little, though, when he put the camera on, and you can see. And here's Mario There's doing his pull-ups. He did two so far. Here we go. This is for you, Connie. Welcome in on this one. He's going for three right now. He's almost got He got three. Let's see if he can do four. Not looking good. Yep. Here he goes. Yep, he got done. four. Good. He's done. Or pull we got the only t-shirt, no water bottle. The only pull-up machine that we got that you could hold in your hands. <laughs> yeah, pull-ups are hard. Yeah, but we're gonna do that with the army challenge. So it's just a, it's a friendly bet. That's all it is, Bobby. A friendly bet, something to laugh at. Yep. And make fun of each other. Because if I can't do five, which I hope I could do five, um, he's gonna be laughing. I'll be laughing me to death. So, yep, Connie liked it, Ariel. Yeah, we're in training. That's cool. Definitely cool. No, Mario wasn't cheating at all. No, Mario didn't cheat. He was doing good. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to do them. Oh, we got the birds. We're going to have a bird fight going on. I think uh, one bird's complaining to the other bird that they stayed at the casino too long. They're having a bird fight. Oh, yeah. You never know. But, yeah, tomorrow's back to cutting grass. I gave you guys a sneak peek of the... Uh, the secret weapon for Wednesday, hopefully it works, but for 300 bucks, I have to take a chance because 300 bucks is nothing in the game. So, you know, if it was 3,000, I would think about it. You know, more than 3,000, definitely not because I want to recoup my money right away off that little investment. I'm not looking to drag it out. But you don't know until you try. So we'll give it a try. So I have to push a little lawnmower around. Hopefully it works. And, and if not, I'll have to go back to the drawing board and get the little lawnmower back out, or I'll just get a different one and buy a different one. Or we'll get a goat. A goat? Yeah, I never thought about that. The goat would definitely work good. So, so everybody, I'm going to take off. Thank you. Uh, Sandra gave a super chat today. Thank you to Sandra. Thank you, everybody, for being in the chat. Uh, check out Uncle John. If Uncle John's going live today, it's about 20 minutes after 4. He starts on East Coast time usually. So check him out. He's a pretty cool guy, pretty fun. Just sit around and talk about anything. He's got a new kitten, too. So if you guys are into kittens, yeah. meow, he's got a little kitty to show. So, yeah, thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hopefully you're all set and got out of the rain. So, uh, but Bobby, Connie, Lep was here. Eve was here. Thank you to Eve also. You haul. Bobby. Angie was here too. Lep, Eve. Uncle John, Black. Thank you to Black. What's up, Black? Uncle John. The only person I didn't see today was uh, Mustang. Mustang didn't come around today, so maybe he's mad. I don't know. And also, Chris, Chris came by on... Uh, Facebook and Tom, thank you, Tom, too, for coming on Facebook. Angie, Tom asked me to clean up the cutter, the clutter, I should say. Shandog was here too. Hope I didn't miss nobody else. Joey was here too, so I think I covered about everybody. I hope. So that's great. Let's see, we got one more comment. McT was here too. I forgot about McT almost. Okay, McT, thank you too. How could I forget about McT? 
He requested a good song last night. He requested, oh, I'm trying to think now. Holding Back the Years by Simply Red. That was a good one that he requested on an Angie show last night. So if you guys missed Just Being Angie last night, we had a lot of fun playing some songs and laughing. So everybody be safe. I'll see you soon. Check out Uncle John tonight. And I think Joey, Square Table Degenerates, got something tomorrow. I don't know the exact date, the 11th. Yeah, tomorrow's the 11th, so he's got something with a guy from uh, American Idol. So everybody have a great day. Thank you for the Super Chat, Sandra. Everybody be safe, and we'll see you in a little bit. And I'll see you in the morning also, cutting grass. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.